Okay, so I decided to do a repaste uh, video on the 6900 XT, the Red Devil specifically, just because I noticed a lot of people were having issues remounting this card. Either their temps were staying the same or the temps actually went up. And uh, this card is actually experiencing some heating issues. Uh, when I'm playing Modern Warfare 2, my uh, GPU temps are in the high 70s with the hotspot temperature reaching 96, which isn't typical for this car. So I know it's time for a repaste. So I'm going to go over how to do that with this card and how to mount it properly so that when you remount it to the heat sink, you're actually making contact. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove these screws right here on top. So all the ones you see surrounding the top, you're going to want to remove. So let's go do that right now. Before you remove it, there is a plug right here. You're going to want to unplug this plug. And also behind the card right here, you're going to want to remove this plug as well. And just to be careful when you're removing the plate off the GPU after you take off the screws, there is a LED, LED screw right here. So you're going to want to be careful when you're pulling this off, pull it off nice and gently. Or you don't want to run the risk of popping that LED out. All right, so now that I got the board removed from the heat sink, if you notice here, it looks like the graphics card ate through a lot of the paste here. So that's why I was running into some heating issues. This is just the behavior of this card. I've repasted this card about four times. Um, it's the same result after about six to seven months. My thermal paste looks like this. Uh, I've tried multiple different thermal paste. They all react the same. I do use my computer a lot. I do a lot of 3D modeling, 3D editing, gaming. So my computer's on at least 15 to 16 hours a day. So uh, this, is, this is just the behavior of this card. Okay, so now that I wiped off all the old thermal paste, I applied new thermal paste here. And the method I usually use is I spread the thermal paste around the whole chip. And then I usually leave like a little dot in the middle just so it spreads evenly. I usually get the best results with that. Today, we're going to be using um, Noctua's NTH1. I've tried a lot of thermal pastes in the past on this card. All the Thermal Grizzlies, G-Lid, um, the Arctic. I'm going to try this one. I usually go for performance I'm trying to get the least thermals, but now I'm just trying to go for longevity because I'm tired of taking this card apart and redoing the thermal paste. So I'm going to give this one a try, see how it works. Fairly cheap. You get a decent amount of thermal paste in there. So uh, I'm going to give this one a shot. All right. So once you get the board centered with the heat sink, just make sure that these thermal pads are actually touching the heat sink right here. If they're not touching the heat sink, then it might be that you need to push down a little bit harder to get some more mounting pressure on there. And also check the back part too and make sure those inside of there are touching. Yeah, right here, there's a little gap here. Pushing down and now the gap is gone. And now you apply your screws. Now, I did do the washer mod here. These are nylon washers. These are good to use if you want to apply just some extra pressure to the car. So that's what I do with this car. So I'm going to get this screwed on now. All right, so all screws are in, all plugs are attached. Let's plug this into the computer. Let's see if we get some better thermals. Mm -hmm. 